Have you ever wondered who actually controls the world? And have you ever wondered how they do it? I've been fascinated by these ideas for decades. And I figured some things out and I'm going to share them with you now. There is a group controlling the world called the Black Death Cult. Now the reason I call them the Black Death Cult is because they control the world through violence, the threat of violence, or death, and the threat of death. That's why I call them the Black Death Cult. Now, this is how they control the world right here. It really is this simple. At the top of the control structure are the four horsemen. The four horsemen are named after the four horsemen of the apocalypse. They are four groups of 100 to 200 people that control every civilized nation in the world. Now these people right here, the most powerful people in the world, you will never get to know, you will never get to see, you will never ever stand in the same room with them. And if you do, uh, th they will be separated from you with bodyguards. Okay? You get into this club by birth. That's the only way you can get in. Every now and then they'll pull somebody up, but this is all birthright right here. Now below them, they appoint people to do their bidding. And these people are kings, queens, presidents, leaders, prime ministers and such, uh, religious leaders, community leaders. These are all appointed by the four horsemen to lead you, so to speak. That's the, that's the ruse that they're under. They're really there to perpetrate violence on you and control you through violence, but they claim, I'm a king, I'm a queen, look, I'm, I'm your ruler. Now below them are elected controllers, lawmakers, judges, politicians, public servants, celebrities, big business leaders. And they control you as well using violence. Now, the thing with this group of people is they actually don't physically violence you. They don't do it themselves. <laughs> this is the funny part about it to me. Is they don't do it themselves. This is where the heart of the Black Death Cult resides. In these violent individuals. And they are cops, military, bodyguards, security forces, and mercenaries. This is the heart of the Black Death Cult's violence. Right here. Right here. If you think about it, when a king says, we're having problems here, people are raiding the storehouses, and so the lawmaker makes a law that says, you can't raid the storehouse, he actually doesn't do anything to you if you raid the storehouse. Neither does the king. They might not be physically able to stop you, but guess who can? That's right. Security forces, bodyguards, military, cops, and private security forces or, or bodyguards, um, cops. So they put cops around the storehouse. If that doesn't work, they declare martial law around the storehouse in that section of town. So that's how they control you with the violence. And, and, and you're down here. This is the general population, the workers, small business, useless eaters, John and Jane Doe, married couples, families. 
These are the family and local controllers, and you control each other with minor forms of violence. Like you can call the cops on somebody. A man can beat his wife. You know, a worker's held in line by the business leader holding goods over their head. In other words, like you, this is your livelihood. So if you got to be a good worker, or you're going to lose your livelihood. Uh, so you're controlled by this way, and you control other people in society using violence yourself. Now, a good example of this right here. This pyramid of action is happening right now today, even as we speak. A Passover uprising. Palestinians march on the border. And what happened was 17 people died. A thousand people were injured. There's black death cult right there. Death, the threat of death, or violence, or the threat of violence. So here's the violence, the injured, and here's the death. And then what happens? Netanyahu praises troops. Netanyahu praises troops. And Israel says, firing on Palestinian protesters was justified. See this? So, up here you have Netanyahu, right? Praising his troops. So, where's his troops? Down here, getting paid to kill people. So, you have the leader, Netanyahu. You have the politicians and the lawmakers that go, yeah, right here, this right here. This is Israel. I'm sorry, this is, this is Israel. See, you, if you're Palestinian, you're not Israeli, so this is Israel. Yeah, lawmakers, absolutely. Politicians, this is Israel. Celebrities, look at Israel. Business leaders, we do business in Israel. We're Israeli. Palestinians come in and go, well, well we don't agree with that border, that line you drew right there. We don't agree with it, so we're going to go from over here, we're going to go over here. And then what happens? They bring in the military. They bring in the cops. They bring in the security. When I mean they, I mean Netanyahu specifically. The, the politicians specifically, this, this, the leaders of the, of the military forces that are listening to the politicians and, and the, uh, the uh, president, the uh, prime minister. So the military gets called in by these guys and this guy. And then what do, we, what do they do? They pull their black death cult maneuver and they start killing you. They start killing you. So this is happening right now. This is a map of control that's happening right now. This is how you're being controlled through violence every day. So become aware of the Black Death cult and their methodology because that's the only way you're going to be able to get out from under it.